Hey everybody, welcome back. So I have another Cave Club doll review for you today. So in my last video, um, I did a review for Emberly and Tella is her name. <laughs> I kept forgetting her, her name is Tella, like telescope. So um, anyway, I did a review for these two. If you wanted to see that, I'll go ahead and leave links down below as well as up in the iCards. But for today, I'm going to be reviewing the other two girls from the first wave of the Cave Club dolls. Here I have Fernessa, and um, this is my niece Vanessa's favorite <laughs> of the lineup um, because first of all, she likes pink and this one has really, really pink hair. Uh, and also their names are very similar. So for Nessa, Vanessa, you know. <laughs> and then here I have Rorelei. So this is Rorelei. And I think I said Emberly was the feisty one of the group. Emberly is kind of like the feisty one in the, like the web series. But like now that I'm looking at these ones, I think I was wrong. I'm, I think it was Rorelai was the feisty one. Um, she was kind of like the rainbow dash of the group, if you will. But um, anyway, so this is how, how her name looks. Um, she's the purple one. Yeah, so these dolls are from Mattel. They are around $15. I think on Amazon, they are like $16, like $15.99 or something like that. I bought them from Walmart, and when I got them, they were only $12.99, so I paid $13 each for these. You may have remembered I did a review on Slate like many months ago when these dolls first 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 came out like right when I was able to place an order I placed the order for all of these and I reviewed Slate like right when I got him because I got him like the next day um, for some reason he was available immediately but all of these dolls were on back order when I placed the order I had to wait for them and because of that I forgot <laughs> I literally forgot to do the review for these. So they've literally just been sitting down here in my pile of unopened dolls um, for the longest time. And um, I'm just now getting around to reviewing them. But anyway, so um, these are some of the original releases. Um, I don't think I said that in my last video, but these are the original releases. Um, they have, Mattel has since then uh, redesigned some of the packaging for these dolls. Um, I know that like if you order them on Amazon, you can get what they call a uh, frustration free packaging where it's like just a full solid box and you can't actually see the doll um, so it's more of like a blind box situation but they're a little easier to unbox and um, I think that the packaging is a little bit more uh, recyclable friendly. These are fully articulated Playline dolls. They all come with a couple accessories and a pet. Um, so we'll take a close look at that here in just a second here. Um, oh here's here's her pet down there. Um, and then on the back, you have some cute little artwork of each of the characters. I really like Furness's <laughs> artwork. I think that she has like really, really crazy hair and I love it. Um, and then here is Rorelai and she is very cat-like apparently. Uh, which by the way, if you haven't seen the webisodes, I definitely recommend them. I mean, just know that they obviously they're made for little kids. So I haven't seen all of them. I saw like when I first ordered these, after I ordered them, I went online and started watching the, the webisodes. And um, I thought that they were really cute, but they only had a few episodes at the time. And I haven't gone back to watch more since then, just because I, I forgot about it. I have subscribed to the uh, Cave Club YouTube channel. Um, I just haven't seen all of the webisodes yet, but it's really cute. Um, the episodes I did see were done in like a stop motion animation style, which I love. First of all, I love that animation style. But what I like about it is they actually use the dolls to do the stop motion or a computer generated like a, a, a CGI version of the dolls. And I like that. I mentioned that in my last video because I thought that that's a good idea for marketing because when the kid sees the cartoon, if the, if they see the cartoon and they're like, hey, I want that Furnessa doll or I want that, um, you know, that Emberly doll or whatever, the doll actually looks like the character in the cartoon. And some of these cartoons, it doesn't really do that. Um, while I'm talking about that, I'm just going to start opening these up, by the way. Using the actual dolls to do the stop motion for the cartoon, I think I think was a cute idea, a good idea. So I'm just gonna get these out of the box really quick, and then we can take a closer look at everything, and we can keep talking about them then. 
And here they are out of the box. So each of the dolls come with a comb. This one's for Nessa's, this one is Rorlai's. And they're the same combs as all of the dolls have had so far. Uh, they're just made of like dinosaur bones and everything. They each come with a little accessory and each accessory does something kind of cool. This one is Rorlai's accessory. It is a purse and she can actually wear it obviously. It does come undone here so it makes it easier to put on and off. It's open so technically you can put stuff in there. And then this right here actually comes off and becomes a little headband that she can wear. <laughs> How cute is that? I like that. All right, I'm gonna put it back on the purse for right now though. And then Fernessa has this little like, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It's like a flower pot. Um, but what's kind of cool is she carries it around like this and then you have the little contraption here that makes it bloom and you can do it over and over again. So that's really cute. Also, each of the dolls come with a pet. Here is Feral, and this is like a little saber tooth tiger. So cute with like a little faux hawk tuft of hair up here, purple with all the stripes on it, and super cute. Like, look at those eyes. Oh, so cute. And then this one is Tilly, spelt P-T-I-L-L-Y. Kind of like pterodactyl where the P is silent. So far, I think this is my favorite pet out of all of the pets so far. Tilly is so cute, a little pterodactyl. And I love the color, I love lime green. I love, love, love lime green. And the fact that she is that color, this little tuft of like the pink hair on top, so cute. I mean, look at that face. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my God. All right, so let's take a closer look at the dolls themselves. Starting with Fernessa. Um, Fernessa is really cute. She, her doll kind of looks sassy. She's like looking off to the side like that. She doesn't have crimped hair. Um, she has more wavy hair and I'm actually, I was hoping that like the dolls with the crimped hair were the only ones that had like that cheaper hair quality, but unfortunately, no, she, she also has that same kind of hair quality as like the, like last Monster High dolls to be released and the, um, Wild Hearts crew dolls had the same kind of hair quality. It's like a, just a cheap nylon material. It works. Um, she's definitely well rooted. Like she's got pretty thick rooting, which is really good. Um, I just wish that the hair quality, like the texture or the material that they used was better. This is going to get, like it's already kind of knotted. It's gonna get tangled really, really easily. Uh, and it's the only reason why I, I don't like it. That is not like pleasant to the touch. <laughs> I want a more silky hair. I mean, technically for kids, you know, like it works. It's not not like the end of the world, but um, it's not my favorite. Here's Furness's face. I think she is so cute. I really like the paint job on these. I like the, the art style, the way that they decided to do their eyes. It's very reminiscent of Monster High. Um, I'm wondering if it's like the same team who designed them. Uh, I'm not sure, but that'd be interesting to know. Um, she has this little plastic accessory in her hair. I think all of the dolls have a plastic accessory in their hair. Um, hers is like this really cute flower with the vines. I really, really like that. Um, her dress is this really cute kind of like leopard print, but the leopard spots kind of look like flowers. Uh, and that's kind of cool. And it's like all like tie dye pink and orange. And then it has this like overskirt, which is like this velvety kind of green, like it's supposed to look like a leaf. Um, and then I, each of the dolls has a necklace. I don't think I pointed out all of them, but, um, or some kind of a, a neck accessory. But anyway, hers is like this shoulder pad with the necklace here uh, and it's all molded and this is painted white, which is nice. And then the dolls have flat feet so they can stand on their own, which is nice because they do not come with stands uh, and they don't have shoes, but instead they have these like shin guards, leg warmers, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, she's really cute. And then next is Rorlai. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Rorlai's hair back here, at least the straight part, is actually nicer in quality. Um, it's still a cheaper material, um, but it's like a, you know, like if you've got like the really nice nylon hair and then the, the cheap nylon hair of the other dolls, this is somewhere in the middle. So, um, and then up here, the crimped part, it does feel like the electrified, Monster High electrified dolls. So this is probably the material they use, but when it gets crimped, it feels very dry. But it holds the style and it looks cool. So here's her face. I think she is adorable. Um, I like her little face paint and everything, all the details there. Just like all the other dolls, she has a plastic hair accessory. Hers is like this dinosaur rib cage. She comes, instead of a plastic thing around her neck and shoulders, hers is like a faux fur. And this, although it looks like two separate pieces, it is connected. So it is actually a dress um, with more of like a tiger, like a pink, I don't know, this must be like a Lisa Frank tiger. It's like <laughs> kind of the pink, orange and yellow, like a sunset looking. And she has this little belt that has these little claws in it. And then she also has, these are definitely much more like leg warmers. 
So yeah, I think that these dolls are definitely really cute. Um, I didn't mention it in my last video, I forgot to, but I love dinosaurs. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan, and um, I love everything having to do with dinosaurs. I've seen so many dinosaur movies, especially a lot of bad ones, <laughs> like really, like low budget, you know, like whatever. If you want to see a good, like, scary dinosaur movie that is really bad, <laughs> check out Carnosaur or Carnosaur or Carnotaur. I think it's Carnosaur. Anyway, um, I really like that movie. It's it's from like the 80s or 90s. I saw it when I was much younger and I was in like a huge like Jurassic Park mood and I had already watched the Jurassic Park movies that were out at the time and I wanted more. Um, and it was like Blockbuster. So I like, I actually rented it from Blockbuster <laughs> and watched it. Um, but anyway, I, I gotta see if I can find those movies again. Um, it's been a while since I've even looked for them. But, um, but anyway, yeah, I love dinosaurs. I love the theme of these dolls, and um, I think this is really fun. I mean, I don't know how how it's doing. I haven't seen too much. Um, I know that there is a Wave 2 coming out, so hopefully that's a good thing, because I, I do like these dolls. I like this line, and I think it's great, and I hope kids are liking them. Like, I hope they're selling, because I'd like it to do well. I know that they've come out with, like, more play sets. Like, they came out with, like, some of these characters, but, like, in a play set, like, I think there's one with Vanessa. I think it's Vanessa with, like, a babysitting... Thing where like there's like a little baby cave club doll and then um there's another one that came out with I think it was like Emberly and it was like a, a cooking set um and then they have a new character that I haven't seen yet um Raquel where she is with a like a dinosaur that she can ride on um it's one of the ones that they showed at Toy Fair but I, they didn't release until later um and I, I don't know if I mentioned earlier but I did order these like when they first came out and um now they're all like on clear so <laughs> that's why I'm like, I don't know how they're doing, but, um, you know, hopefully they're doing well enough. Um, I, the one note that I have is like, I'd like to see higher quality for the hair. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, I think these are a great doll line, especially for kids. I mentioned before, if you're watching the video as like a buyer's guide for, you know, whether or not to get these dolls, I don't necessarily think that they're, um, that if you're a collector and looking for dolls to collect, they may not be your favorite, but, um, for kids, to play with? Absolutely. Um, like my nieces and nephews, they prefer dolls that have articulation because they like to be able to pose them to sit down or to, um, you know, act out the little scenes they're playing and stuff like that. So fully articulated dolls are always a plus. Um, and you know, like my niece and nephew, especially because they live with me and their mom, we are huge Jurassic Park fans and Jurassic Park nerds. And that has totally rubbed off on the kids and they are, they love dinosaurs. They have so many dinosaur toys. So these dolls are definitely a must have for kids like them who love dinosaurs. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a great buy. Definitely recommend it. So let me just set her down. Um, I have them propped up on a few boxes here and it's hard for them to stand. And I only had one of my Kaiser stands available <laughs> right now. But um, anyway, so yeah, um, that is it for this video. However, however, Surprise! I have another video coming out after this because I got some of the second wave of Cave Club dolls. So um, I've got Raquel and Bashley. Um, these are two new characters. Well, Raquel, uh, we already saw like uh, she uh, was revealed at Toy Fair, but on the the toy. T-Rex toy, um, but this is a new Raquel that is coming out for a second wave, and then this is a new character that I don't think we've seen before, and these dolls have gorgeous, gorgeous color schemes. I am so excited to get these ones opened, which I'm going to do right now, but you guys are going to have to wait till the next video, and if you want to see that video, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications, because then you'll know when that video comes out, and you can check these out when I do that review. <laughs> So anyway, I'm having a lot of fun with these dolls. I, I really like Cave Club. I think I like them more from a customizer standpoint. I've already customized one Slate doll for my nephew who wanted a Freddy Fazbear doll. I didn't make a video of that because it was a Christmas present. I didn't have a lot of time to get the doll done in time to get it to him for Christmas. So I didn't record the process because that always slows the process down. Uh, recording it does. But I definitely enjoy working with them from a customizer standpoint. So um, that's another reason, especially now that they're like reduced on both what Target and Walmart, uh, they are lower in price right now. So um, 
Uh, if you are a customizer, these are definitely fun to work with as well. Just like Monster High, they're just shorter. They're just on a slightly different scale. Um, so, but yeah, um, you know, if you think that that's something that you're interested in getting, definitely check them out. Um, but uh, anyway, I, by the way, I got these on Amazon. This is the new packaging, by the way. This is the frustration-free packaging or whatever. Um, so it's going to be kind of like a blind box situation. I haven't even seen them yet. So I'm going to have a first reaction to these new characters once I open them in the next video. But that is it for this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload. I post new videos every week Wednesday, except for when I don't and I post them on Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.